Hello and welcome. This short video will give you a brief introduction to educational technology and your role as an educational technologist. There's nothing magical about any tech tool. The real magic rests in the minds and hearts of teachers using digital tools to introduce students to new individuals, ideas, and opportunities. Tools for teachers and students for use in and out of the classroom no longer have to be static personal devices like a desktop PC anchored to a desk. Nowadays, they can be portable tablets, iPads, Chromebooks, and the best part is information created on these devices can be shared from student to student, teacher to teacher, or even better, teacher to student. Using Web 2.0 technology, the applications that you see here, in addition to hundreds if not thousands of other applications, are available free to use online. The programs are no longer downloaded like they used to be or installed from a CD or a DVD-ROM. They reside online. Simply point your web browser to the respective website and voila! Teachers can access Skype or YouTube or Gmail, LinkedIn, or any of the other fine applications for use in and out of the classroom. Safety and security of students and staff while using the internet and accompanied applications should be the number one priority for the school district. An acceptable use policy should be in place and followed by all persons using the school network. As an educational technologist, one of the first things to consider when working with technology in a school is to be sure that you have a technology team in place. The technology team can be made up of staff, teachers, parents, students, and other members who show an interest in technology for use in the classroom. Once you have your team in place, you can complete a technology assessment to find goals needed for the school, focus on your personal learning network, and finally, develop and implement professional development that is both effective and relevant. With clear goals in mind, solid direction, effective leadership, and a willing staff, your school, and especially your students, are sure to be successful while implementing educational technology practices. This presentation has been brought to you by American College of Education student Chris Peterson. All images used in this presentation have been labeled for non-commercial use with modification.